Yeah, hi, my name is uh, Venkatesh Mova. I'm a physician. Um, my location is in Mumbai and Hyderabad. We have two offices in there. And the name of our business is Region Orthosport, which is um, Region X India. So orthopedic stem cells, also called orthobiologics, uh, uh, it's pretty much, you, most of you have heard that, you know, athletes used to get some kind of treatment with their own blood, you know, you might have heard about that. A lot of athletes have gotten some platelets, plasma-rich platelets, which is your own blood products. That's how it started. So 20, 25 years ago, um, no one heard about, you know, stem cells in the orthopedic industry. But um, we started with some uh, athletes making it very popular. Their top athletes have done it. And then the research went into, hey, why cannot we do it in regular people? So Europe was in the forefront of uh, most of these uh, stem cell applications because uh, compared to US, Europe has a little lax regulations. So there is a freedom of uh, trying and experimenting with the newer things. And they started seeing a lot of growth. Then um, in US, uh, for the last 12 years, is uh, when uh, the real uh, stem cell orthopedics have started. And our group, which is the Region X, um, was started like 14 years ago, and was the first group to try any commercial stem cell injections on a, um, on a patient, basically. And ever since, we have noticed that thing. It was only done in high-level athletes and sports people, but over the period of time now, we pretty much treat everybody from age 12 onwards up to 94 years old. And year by year, we have noticed that there are more and more applications uh, that can be used. And, uh, and as I said, like, you know, this is just the beginning of a, you know, bigger revolution, literally. And uh, we expect this to go at an exponential rate in the future. The industry uh, for orthobiologics, orthopedic stem cells, I is huge. Because as you know, like, um, you know, everybody have some kind of a joint issue or a ligament issue um, or, or any kind of arthritis issue. And, um, and throughout the world, uh, the number two reason um, for a patient to visit a doctor is for an orthopedic condition. Um, and in India, I think it's probably the number one reason, you know. So there is a need. We all have joints. We all have wear and tear. And now we all want to be active, you know. We want to you know, play sports, we want to stay healthy, so we use a lot of those. So there's a lot of issues that come with it. So if we can educate how to take care of uh, the bodies at an earlier stage, or if there's an option to repair and regenerate before they get really bad, uh, and, and that is huge, humongous in the healthcare wise. So that education um, has been, you know, um, done through us, you know, we do a lot of uh, uh, online education and seminar and patient education. And that's been taking off and people are responding to that one. So the company has started, as I said, like three and a half years ago. And um, we never expected, uh, you know, as a business part that we will be this successful. And we always wanted to bring in the new technology to India and help all the people. And, uh, and that resulted in, you know, commercial success as well. And uh, so now we are in Mumbai. Um, our plans, our future plans are, we want to expand into uh, Pan-India. We're looking into Bangalore and Delhi as our next stops uh, as well. And uh, so the, the same technology should be available to almost all of India population. So we're strategically moving into uh, bigger metros first. So me being a sports medicine, so that was my specialty training. I'm a sports medicine physician back in U.S. Uh, so I was dealing with a lot of athletes at that point. So we were using these biologics uh, at an early stage. Uh, so that was my introduction into stem cells or platelet injections. Uh, so by doing that thing, um, so we have noticed like significant uh, breakthrough improvements. So we did not use, need to use any steroid medications or even we were able to avoid surgeries in some cases in those early stages. So that was very exciting for us. You know, we found something, you know, that can naturally improve your own body without even putting any medicine inside your body. So at that point, you know, me being from India, and we always had this dream like, you know, hey, why can't I bring this thing back to India um, and do it? So, but again, we started that as an experiment in Hyderabad. This was uh, three and a half years ago. 
So we started uh, offering the same treatments that which we were doing in U.S., which is the orthobiologic stem cell treatments, which include stem cells, platelets, and all your natural body products. And we started treating patients that have injuries, sports injuries, uh, arthritis, older patients, women, men, active adults. So we started doing that in Hyderabad, and uh, there was tremendous response. Uh, people have taken it, and uh, they welcomed with open arms, saying that I think this is what they've been waiting for. So that gave us more and more confidence. And our next step, uh, we expanded into Mumbai market. And uh, we have um, you know, another doctor that joined us. And uh, so now we are pretty much um, um, uh, specially uh, focused only on regenerative orthopedics. And, uh, and we're able to do that and offer the same treatments that we were doing in US, now back in India as well. We are the only specialized orthopedic stem cell uh, centers in India. Um, so we do not do any surgical procedures, so it's a non-surgical uh, procedure. Um, there is no dedicated non-surgical interventional orthopedics center in India. So we are completely dedicated to this and we have a 10-year history of body of work which included research, publications, data collection, and then protocol development. And we are collecting uh, patient uh, information as well, and uh, we continue to publish studies. Uh, so I don't think there is any other institute that does uh, a dedicated orthopedic stem cell procedures in India. So in India itself, so as I said, like I've been doing it for almost like eight and a half, nine years of uh, regenerative procedures back in US. In India itself, uh, we have just crossed a thousand, which included uh, almost 600 of stem cell procedures and the remainder of platelet procedures. Uh, the future is, as I said, it's, it's bright. I mean, um, as I said, we are just the beginning of the industry. Um, and as we do more and more research, uh, we're, we're, we're finding out that there's more applications. So if we can intervene earlier, and uh, we can change a lot of things. You know, people can live longer, healthier, active lifestyle. Uh, so we feel like um, almost all of us uh, uh, need uh, some kind of help uh, through biologics. And uh, we feel like the future is very, very bright. Um, along with the possibilities of, uh, you know, helping multiple people and using the newer technology, there's always a challenge whether the technology has been used properly. Um, is everybody responsible? Uh, are, the, are the claims that are made? Um, uh, so we all have to, as a group, have to be very responsible, not to mislead the public, and just to do the procedures or treatments that are evidence-based and have research-based and publish, uh, and you have to publish uh, those. And so you have to have uh, some kind of a moral responsibility and ethical responsibility to properly use these things. Because uh, the problem that we see now is, uh, um, is because any newer technology, the regulations are not fully formed yet. I think we welcome having a good structured regulations where you know, a proper use of these biologics or ortho, orthopedic stem cells uh, uh, has a tremendous advantage and it can help millions of people, but they have to be done responsibly.